Good morning, guys. So today is going to be um, a barn vlog. I'm talking quiet because it's like 6.45 in the morning. We just woke up. Um, we just went and fed the horses and then we have to leave by 8.30 to get there by 9.30. Our lesson's at 10. So we're getting an early jump on the day. Um, right now I'm just wearing my Rolex sweatshirt, some leggings. Don't mind the mess behind me because this is my filming room. So, but it's only like 51 degrees out today. So it was really cold. So I had a sweatshirt and just leggings on to feed. And then it's going to be like a 74, 73 degree day. So it's going to be really nice. But I'm about to eat breakfast and then I'll get ready. So I'll show you my outfit of the day and then we'll start loading up. See you guys soon. See it now almost happening Sneaking out at night Living like we're free You and I could do Anything we please You got The face to fit The frame I cannot look Away like Can't you see I'm hypnotized We're picture perfect Sweet like it I'll be your baby, picture perfect, barefoot beauty You stole my heart, just like in a movie Got the key to me Tell me, tell me, I'm your darling Daisy Picture perfect, sweet like candy I'll be your girl, yeah, I'll be your baby And here you'll just see that I'm talking to my trainer, asking her which girth to use because I have a Ledia dressage clip girth and an auto shoemaker um, dressage girth. And the two girths that I have actually don't really work at the moment. As you guys know, we've been kind of going over saddle fit. I actually have to buy a total saddle fit girth also. And until I can get that, I'm just using whichever girth will make use at the moment, which my trainer said to go ahead and use the auto shoemaker girth. This is the arena that our friend Karen lets us use in her barn, but we just had to show you because it was just freshly graded and it's like equestrian heaven.
I'm so much taller than you. Hi guys, so we just got done back from the barn, kind of like ending our vlog. We just got the trailer turned around. Winnie is out in this small pasture over here behind us. He might be running around like an idiot. We've got the happy sitting over here in the dryer pasture because somebody's not allowed to have hay. Or she's grass. fat. We're battling obesity together. <laughs> together. So, so um, we had a really good ride. If you want to recap your ride first. Um, actually, um, I've been out of the saddle for like 10 years. Um, I've had her a couple years, but I never actually started uh, lessons and dressage. We were just doing trails and fun things. Not that dressage isn't fun because it really is. And um, we're getting back into it and we're getting um, our transitions really well. And today was a fabulous, fabulous lesson. Um, I don't normally do blogs and things blogs, but I'm trying to get the awareness out for halflingers and adults that start riding later in life. Um, cause it's something that you got to give it a try at least once and you're probably going to fall in love with it like we have. And my awesome daughter, she's always been there for me. Um, especially in the days when I used to ride Arabians. We made that mistake. <laughs> I still love mistake. them, yeah. but they're just not a horse for me personally. And that's how I, um, I got along with Halflingers so well. But um, Morgan has uh, off the track thoroughbred, and she is actually starting probably, I'd say, square one. Yeah. Because he wasn't handled for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, he was out to pasture, and he is so awesome under saddle, but oh my gosh, he was a biter, and yeah. you couldn't trust him. And she's he, done so much work in the past year. He, with about him. Took, he about took my friend's face off one day. Yeah, so, so. Um, they're doing dressage as well. She's been out of the saddle for. About eight years. Yeah, about as long. Um, we took a break from English for a couple of years, and then I got a quarter horse for my 16th birthday. And then we ended up finding out he was he was really lame. Um, the person we bought it from had hit it, and we trust her because she's my 4-H leader. But we found out he was lame and his hawks, so we had actually ended up selling him as just a trail horse, um, like light trails, like one or two a month. So when I got him, kind of going back towards the Arabian train, I wanted to get more into English again. And I mean, we've done it, we've done really well. With, like after like saddle finishes and stuff. Like I said, we're kind of a lot of saddle finishes with him. Yeah, it was like the major part of it. And he has no training. He went from the racetrack to sitting in the pasture doing nothing, and then he had eight rides on him from second stride. Um, the adoption agency. He had two two rides a week, and he was there for two months, and they were just basic rides, just coming off of track training. So he's. Like she said, square one, he has no training whatsoever, so we're just just now starting. He's uh, he's he's learning what contact is right now. He doesn't like it. <laughs> so Her show is in August too. Yeah, we're going to the same one. Mine. The, so what is it? The bridal button is it bridal bunch? Bridal Bridal Bunch. Yes. Yeah, Bridal, bridal bunch. bunch in Danville. Indiana. Yeah, Danville, Indiana is a bridal bunch schooling show. It's a covered arena show. And it's only only his his second show off the property, the first one we scratched. This will be her second show as well. Mm -hmm that she actually gets to, to ride in. She rode in her first one and got third out of Sweet. third out of nine in her very first show. Mm -hmm. So it was just intro, but I mean, we're got to start somewhere. So we're taking it so, easy. But everybody seems to do these crazy outfit of the day videos, but this yeah. is mine. This is what I ride in a cheap yeah. little, little white t-shirt. Yeah. Love my Devonair breeches, of course. They can't see your pants. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And my boots. Your mountain horse boots. <laughs> But that's, I just, I'm boring, basic, no frills, but. Same here, I don't like polos, I don't like all that fabric. Um, I like technical shirts, but I don't feel like paying $60 for a technical shirt. So I just ride in like basic tank tops, um, like basic sports bras from Walmart. And then I do invest in breeches because you kind of can't not invest in breeches. Um, I had on my gray and turquoise pipers that you've seen if you watched my breeches collection as mom does. <laughs> and then I have my same Devonair brand boots and my Perry's leather half chaps. And I save my tread steps for the show because I don't want to wear them out. I mean, I know they're good quality and they won't wear out for a while, but I'll take my half chaps and boots till they die and then go with my tread steps till I have to buy another pair. So. If you guys want to ask any questions about our awesome horses and our adventures that we go with together, because we are a team. Yeah, pretty much and together all the time. Yeah, just so. Put it down below. And I'm not going to say subscribe because that's lame. <laughs> and you'll see on, on the end card, you'll see like our social media and stuff if you guys want to follow us. So, so have a great later. ride. Bye. Bye. Great job.
Mom. Boom. Yeah.